we've seen this matchup before and Collins has never dropped a set. You know, she's 8-0 in sets and 4-0 in matches, um, you know, throughout their careers. I think Collins really understands what she has to do when she plays Caroline. She's able to use a ton of body serve. She's able to crowd uh, Caroline's return position stance. She's able to play offensive tennis off the first strike. She's able to get Caroline on the back foot where she can't defend as well because she's standing so far in to return first and second serves. So I think Collins does a really good job of jamming her, taking her time away. And Collins is playing so well right now, so confident. It took a very top-of-the-line Sabalenka to knock off her 15-match win streak. But I think she's still in the zone. It's her last year on tour. She's playing some really inspired stuff. And I feel like that's going to continue against Caroline Garcia. Garcia is obviously very unpredictable. She's one of the best servers on the tour. But statistically, she's not one of the better returners. And Collins is. Collins is super aggressive on, first, on second serve returns. She wins more second serve return points than just about any player on tour right now. This year, she's ranked fifth in that department. And I think um, her success is going to continue. It's a matchup she knows exactly what to do in. And I don't think Clay hurts or helps either player. 